Well, sheep brains, believe it or not, structurally look like the human brain. When you do a cross section of it and you open up, you can see all the same structures that you see in a human brain. Kids learn about the, they learn exactly what a brain looks like. You see these? Mm -hmm. yeah. Those work. Now remember, it looks like these yellow things are coming out of them. They're not. They're underneath. They're behind them. These are the optic nerves that are cut off right here. This optic nerve would go up to here. This optic nerve would go up to here and you'd have an eyeball here and an eyeball here. Remember that? Like they learn, um, they see the structures on the inside for themselves and also you can feel the tissue, the way that it's so soft and, and um, spongy even. And then they can see for themselves the different parts of the brain that, that are responsible for their memories and their senses and their emotions. It's just, um, it's just a fun experience. Well, it's science. You know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So this is very much science. And, um, and it's just a highlight of the, of the semester. If you just cut willy-nilly, and you're off to one side or not, you'll miss the structures. You've got to get a good cross section, which is why I said I want you to be able to see your hemispheres. A lot of people think that they're not going to like it. They think that it's going to be too queasy or they're going to be lightheaded. That like almost never happens. So once in a while I'll have a kid that will ask to go to the library and that's, that's totally fine. I totally understand that. Um, but really when they get in there and start, the, the, um, the curiosity and it takes over and everybody seems to have a really good time and really engages well with it. And if that meant that he had more surface area of his brain and because he had more surface area that means he actually had more neurons, right? Mm -hmm. And if you didn't have as many wrinkles, you had less surface area and you weren't as intelligent. Okay? I want to show you something. We did have one sheep's brain that was unusual this time. Um, you know every brain has, is very wrinkled. And the reason that is, is because they all have to fit inside our head. Well, it's like if you take a sheet of paper and you wad it up, you can shrink it down into a small space, but you still have the same surface area when you spread it out. That was how Einstein was so smart. It was not that he had a bigger brain, he had the same size head as the rest of us, but he had a lot more wrinkles in his brain, which means when you spread it out, he had a lot more surface area, which means he had a lot more neurons. Well, the opposite is true, too. If you don't have very many wrinkles in your brain, you don't have as much surface area, you don't have as many neurons, and the intelligence seems to, is, is typically lower. When they cut it open, I don't know if you can tell the difference. You can't tell very well on camera. That this has a, the, the uh, how do I put it? You can't see it's it. It's too smooth. Like even the, the meat of the, of the um, cerebellum, it's supposed to look like a broccoli kind of on the inside. It's just smooth. There's no, almost no wrinkles, no, no branches. We found a sheep's brain this time that had, the wrinkles were very shallow, had almost no wrinkles in its brain. And then when we did the cross section, even when we did the cross section, the certain structures that we were supposed to see, um, most of them were there, but they were still really way too smooth. So I would venture to say that that little sheep was probably not the smartest one in the pen.